is up guys it is infinite chances and black ops 2 is officially released uh, i was the first one in the town that i went to and at that gamestop to get the game and when i was running out as you'll see in the video i just uploaded a few minutes ago um, i tripped and kind of uh... made a fool of myself but uh... so everyone was laughing but i rolled right back up some people cheered for that i don't know it was kind of cool but um... yeah i actually got it like a minute before twelve if that really matters to anyone but here is the main menu, and I'm just going to go through real quick to show you guys what there is in the menu. Alright, so it starts off having you configure everything, kind of obvious. You want to make it a little bit brighter. Alright, so I usually do it right about there. That should be good. Alright, that all seems good. Alright. Good. Now I just got to adjust it to my screen. So, good, go upward to, and once you have that all set, go to the next menu, uh, yes, enable, alright, so you got multiplayer, campaign, and zombies. Uh, I don't know if I'll be playing a campaign right away, I want to get some multiplayer content in zombies, I got to play zombies a little bit early, as you guys saw, so multiplayer, go into the multiplayer menus. So far, I think these menus look really nice. Um, Hopefully it doesn't take a long time to load like it did in the other games. That actually came really quickly. So, Xbox Live. Alright, message of the day. So I'm assuming every day they're going to have a different message. Just like they usually do in the bottom left corner. Alright. Check out combat training. Alright. If you guys want to read that, you can just pause it and check it out. Alright. Roger that. Call of Duty Elite. Cool. Alright, so you get a whole bunch of cool stuff from Call of Duty Elite since I was a founder so if you're a founder you get all these cool items alright so what you have right now you can see shows you it's kinda like the Halo lobby if I'm correct Halo Reach how you can just slide over and it'll show other people playing the game I have three friends playing it right now I went to the midnight release with actually this dual one um, so probably be making a video with them in a few minutes you got the public match. Uh, let's see. Start off with barracks. What do you have in here? You got the emblem editor. You get your prestige mode. Once you get to level 55, prestige awards. Once you get prestige, you get cool awards. Uh, challenges. You know, you get through all the challenges. You got league teams, combat records. And once you get level 10, you can see that. Uh, different what are these leaderboards. So that's pretty cool. You have all the different games. I'll run through these in a second. All right, <clears throat> go down. To, I think I was already there. All right, player card. All right, I went through all these. You have Call of Duty Elite. I'll check that in a moment. I might do a different video for that. Uh, the custom games seems kind of cool. All right, keep game recording on just in case. Um, yeah, leave lobby. So I think custom games you can do. Um, you can do combat training from there public match so the different matches you have in core you have TDM multi-team so that is three teams three players each so that seems cool mercenary mosh pit that's nice I'm glad they don't have it hardcore this time uh, they have free for all domination ground war demolition kill confirmed a new one hard point so basically you capture and hold the hard point during points kinda like headquarters uh, except without having to wait and um, that should be pretty cool. Kind of like uh, drop zone and headquarters. Uh, then you got your headquarters. Capture the flag, search. In hardcore, you have only four options TDM, free for all, search, and cap the flag. Combat training. You have boot camp, and then the objective. So that seems like a lot of fun. And party games. These are from the original Black Ops when you had wager matches, gun game, one in the chamber, sharpshooter, and sticks and stones. Uh, create a class, you unlock at level 4, just like all the other games. Score streaks, you unlock at 7. Barracks, I already showed you this. So call it signs, clan tag, which you get at level 10. So this seems really cool. Um, theater, you can just go into your films. Recent victories, bookmarks, so it's a lot more laid out and easy to find the clips you were looking for. So that's cool. Um, seems like a lot of good options for 
this new game. Your friends list, you just press Y. So that's really cool the way it's set up. You go into your elite clans. These are all my friends from elite. Uh, he already changed his gamer tag, so you can see on the right it's different. Uh, recent players, Xbox. So very easy to understand and get through. So I look forward to playing online. Gonna do that any minute now, and I'll upload my first live commentary so you guys can see that. I'm gonna wrap this video up right about now. Actually, I'm gonna check the store real quick. See what you have. So I'm guessing these are Microsoft points store st items. Um, so this is a cool colorblind assist. I'm probably gonna use that. I'm not colorblind. However, it is in Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 3, I thought colorblind made it a lot easier to understand. Uh, when you look at the sensitivity, I notice you can go all the way up to 14. So that's crazy. I'm probably just going to stick with 10 for now. See how that works. And button layout, obviously going to do tactical. Assuming they have all the original ones. Stick layout. Just go to regular. So, I'll let you guys know in my... Ooh, load by default. So if you guys normally do multiplayer campaign or zombies, it'll immediately go right to the different ones that you use. I'll probably set it up to multiplayer. Right, so that should be good. Alright, I'm going to wrap this video up, and I'll see you guys in the next one.